Vice Chancellor Dr. Muhammad Ali Sheikh, deans, teachers, staff, and students at SMIU, Assalamu alaikum. And good morning. I'm really thankful to Dr. Sheikh for inviting me here to meet you all here today and to see where the founder of Pakistan studied. Uh, while this institution shaped the beliefs and the vision of Muhammad Ali Jinnah, just as important, it continues to shape the minds of Pakistan's leaders of tomorrow. You are all truly fortunate that by attending SMIU, you are walking in the footsteps of the father of Pakistan. Clearly, great things are expected of you all and um, from the graduates of this institution, and you will emerge from SMIU, I love the phrase, the, the nursery of leaders, with new tools and knowledge that will lead you to be the leaders of tomorrow and to be drivers of Pakistan's bright future. Pakistan does indeed have a bright future, and I'm proud of the role that the United States is playing as a partner with the government and the people of Pakistan to helping build that future. As Dr. Sheikh was talking about the importance of education, I'm just delighted to be here to continue that discussion. We are active in, a, the United States is active in a wide variety of areas, from health to economic development, to power infrastructure, to defense cooperation, to community engagement. But what I want to focus on today is our partnership in an area that's important to all of us, and that's education and building opportunities for Pakistan's youth. We know that the youth of Pakistan possess tremendous potential. We know that you love to learn. We know that you care deeply about your families, your communities, your country. That's why we want to help give you the tools you need to lead the next generation and to build a peaceful and prosperous and democratic Pakistan. And we know that an educated populace is key to an economy that generates jobs and opportunity. It's key to a society that is resilient and at peace with itself. And it is key to a democratic system that is stable and responsive to people's hopes and desires. Education is foundational to a brighter future. And that's why educational assistance is one of the United States' top priorities in Pakistan. Many of our programs focus on young learners. Since 2009, the United States has built or repaired almost 1,000 schools. Here in Sindh province, the United States is building 106 schools that will provide an additional 1,100 classrooms for young students. Under another U.S. supported program, we are working with Pakistani partners across the country to provide reading assistance to hundreds of thousands of students in grades one and two. Another initiative that's very exciting to me is Let Girls Learn. This is a new effort to help adolescent girls attend school and complete their education. In October 2015, First Lady Michelle Obama announced a commitment jointly with the government of Pakistan and other partners that will help educate and empower more than 200,000 Pakistani girls. The Let Girls Learn initiative focuses, on our, focuses our existing efforts in basic education specifically on girls, and as a result, the U.S. government will build 18 all-girls schools with an estimated enrollment of 9,000, and these schools will also directly benefit an additional 7,000 girls in after school and other programs and being able to use the library. Another focus area for the United States is building English language skills in young students, skills that will open doors for them for the rest of their lives. Our cornerstone English language program is called ACCESS. In this program, we work with partners to identify underserved urban and rural areas where we conduct after-school classes and intensive learning sessions. Over 9,000 young Pakistanis have completed this ACCESS program, and we're enrolling over 1,000 new students each year. 
The United States is also deeply involved in increasing access to higher education. For example, we provide university scholarships through the Pakistan Higher Education Commission to allow more than 12,000 students to pursue their university degrees right here in Pakistan. Through our Smart Universities program, a public-private partnership with the U.S. company Cisco Systems, we are providing Wi-Fi and roaming services at 100 institutes of higher education across Pakistan. Pakistan is also home to the world's largest Fulbright exchange program, providing a world-class US, U.S. education to some of your best and brightest. You don't have to look far to see the value of the Fulbright program. In fact, Dr. Sheikh is a Fulbright Fellow and is now a leader on Pakistan's Fulbright Commission. We have a num number of other exchange programs for young people. Almost 1,100 Pakistani students and professionals of all ages participated in U.S. Gov government sponsored exchanges last year. And on the institutional front, we have initiated 20 partnerships between U.S. and Pakistani universities. In SIND alone, there are five. So let me say again, we believe, as do you, that education is the key that unlocks the door to a brighter future. And we are very proud to be a partner with Pakistan in helping students to gain the skills and awareness that will make them, that will make you, the leaders of the future. And we are very proud to be a partner in establishing the institutional partnerships that will build capacity for Pakistan's education system so that it will generate world-class students, world-class graduates who will lead the country forward. This has been an amazing opportunity for me to come here with this morning and hear about SMIU and to speak with all of you. Thank you again to Dr. Sheikh and to all of you. It's been a real honor. And I would like to repeat the words of Mr. Jenna. My message to you all is of hope, courage, and confidence. I would like to challenge you to take the new skills and knowledge you gain here at SMIU and make Pakistan's future bright. In addition to the quote which I love, enter to learn, go forth to serve, I'll quote Mr. Jenna again, with faith, discipline, and selfless devotion to duty, there is nothing worthwhile you cannot achieve. I wish you all the best. Thank you very much.